Hi, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a folder that will contain every control setting available to you in Windows 10. I'll show you how to make an icon to access this folder in Quick Access File Explorer as well as in the Start menu of Windows 10. I chose to make the icon in these three locations because I don't use these tools that often and then I forget where they are. But this feature is just fantastic because you'll have ease of access to them when you need them. So I hope that this helps someone because I know I just think this feature is fantastic. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to want to add File Explorer, that's this folder, to your taskbar. Um, well, I guess you don't have to if you don't want to, but I just find it's easier to access. And I'm going to point out that all of my icons are here running this way instead of down here on the bottom. So yours are probably going to be on the bottom. I prefer mine to be here on the right hand side. So to get this File Explorer icon over here, what you're going to do is click on your Start button and down here is File Explorer. Now if you want to get there that way all the time, that's fine. Um, I prefer to have the icon um, on my on my taskbar and the taskbar is, is this. So what you can do is you can right click and just say um, pin, un well this mine says unpin from taskbar because I have it over there. Yours is going to say pin to taskbar. So if you want it over there, do that. Um, click on Yours is obviously going to say pin to taskbar. Mine says unpin. So do that first. And um, then what you're going to want to do is open up a Word document. Okay, so once you open up a Word document, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this video. Um, if you're not in YouTube, you're going to have to get into YouTube. And you'll see on the bottom of the video on the bottom right hand side is YouTube. Click on that and then click on show more underneath the video and this information right here will be cut and paste into the um, bottom of the video. I'm just going to highlight this and uh, or color this red actually because um, I just want this for future as well for myself future information. So I'm going to cut and paste this into the bottom of the video and what you're going to do is you're going to open up a Word document and of course that is with this icon and then paste what you copy from my video into the Word document and you'll notice that this second one here says whatever you name it. So I did that so that what you can do is highlight that right to the period, use the control shift key and the right arrow keys and decide what it is that you're going to name this folder because you're going to want to name it something that you're going to know what it is. Um, in the future when you go to customize or change any of the settings that you initially set up at this time. So. Uh, go ahead and give that a name and then what you're going to want to do is go into File Explorer. Sorry, what I should have said was that what you want to do is you want to do Control Shift and the down arrow key and then use the left arrow key so that you're not highlighting this return. So all you want highlighted is all of this. Whatever you name it, um, you're going to give this a name and, and, and then just highlight everything except the return and do your control C and then go into File Explorer either through the icon if you made one or through the Start menu and File Explorer here. Okay, so do that and you'll come to this screen. Okay, so once we're into File Explorer, what you want to do is you want to click on Desktop make sure that desktop is highlighted. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come up here and you're going to click on new folder. And you're going to paste in here the name that you copied from the Word document. So what you'll see after you do the paste is you're going to see whatever you named 
um, remember mine was custom controls. You're going to see whatever you decided to name your folder and you're going to see this code. And what you'll do is you'll paste that with control V and then hit your return key. Then what you're going to see is a, an icon called mine, of course, remember I named it custom controls. You'll see an icon that basically resembles this with the picture, except it'll be the name that you gave it. And you may want to name it custom controls. And then what you're going to want to do is right click on your custom controls and this will pop up. And you'll notice that it says pin to quick access. Click on that. And then also, once you do that, you're going to have to right click again and say, uh, mine says unpin from start because mine is on my start menu, but click on pin to start. And what that's going to do is that's going to make it so that if you're in quick access, you will see your custom controls. If you're up in your start, you will see your custom controls here and you will also see it in your desktop so that you'll have it in three places. Here's my custom controls here. And that just makes it so much easier for you to find the um, icon when you need it. So I'm just gonna show you also what is in the controls that are in the, the custom controls. It has administrative tools so that you can diagnose your computer's memory problems, free up disk space, manage your certificates, it has autoplay, backup and restore windows, color management so that you can change your display, your scanners, your printers, credential manager, date and time, default programs, devices and printers. So this is add a device, view your devices and printers, view your scanners and cameras, you just click on them as well to do that. I'm just gonna go through this right now. I can do other tutorials about those options as well. Display, adjust clear type, adjust screen resolution, ease of access, center. There's tons of options in there. File explorer options. Show hidden files and folders. Change the file type and association file history, change the font settings, home group, indexing options, internet options, keyboard, language, mouse, changing your mouse customizations, network and sharing center, personalization, phone and modem, power options, programs and features. So you can even uninstall programs or install a program. And these take you step by step how to do them. I can do separate tutorials on that. Region, remote app and desktop, security and maintenance, sound, speech recognition, storage spaces, sync center, system 21, taskbar and navigation, troubleshooting, user accounts, Windows Defender, Windows Firewall, and work folders. So basically it's an all in one stop so that you can come here and change any of the settings and customize Windows 10 to the way that you like it. So I hope this helps everyone that watches. Have a great day.